Be dead, can I use your bathroom? Yeah, I'm probably go. Hey! Greetings everyone, and welcome to Kaiju Movie Review. So I get asked a lot to do Toho films, especially Godzilla movies. And it's not that I don't like doing them, or you know, have nothing against Toho, in fact I love Toho, they probably make the best monster movies, in my opinion. It's just everybody knows about Toho, especially Godzilla, a lot of people know them, there's already a lot of reviews that exist. Maybe not so much on YouTube, but they're out there. And I prefer to do more obscure titles and maybe ones I haven't seen or personal favorites of mine. And today is no exception, but I will get around to doing Godzilla movies, I promise. If I do a Toho picture, I prefer to do the more obscure titles or the lesser knowns. But, you know, I will get around to them, I promise. Just keep your eyes open. There's a couple there's a bunch more movies I want to do and need to do, so. But today's film is one of my personal favorites and probably one of the best standalone kaiju titles by Toho. This is Rodan from 1956. So we start the film on a small mining village. We get to see the miners walking, you know, to and from the mine. And there's a, we cut to a small building like with a break room, and there's there's a, two men arguing. There's Goro and another fellow are arguing amongst each other. In fact, it's more than arguing; it's fighting. There's like a group of people trying to tear them apart. It's like busting out into a brawl. And we get a guy that comes in and break, you know, they break it up. This guy's like, you know, you can't you can't fight here. You know, you guys work together. You don't we don't want this crap here. If you're gonna fight, do it elsewhere. So there are you know they break it up and they work on the same shift. So. Down to the mine they go. Cut to Shigeru uh, Kawamura, the main character. He seems a little bit more than your average miner, maybe an, uh, uh, structural engineer, geologist of some type. Anyway, uh, he is called up and says there's a flood in one of the shafts. The west shaft is a flood. The, you know, they're like, well, there shouldn't be. There's no water. There's not like there's underground water there. Maybe a, you know, a pump or something failed. So he goes down there and takes a look. And, you know, while wading through the water, they find a, a, a body floating in the water. It was the individual that Gora was arguing with earlier in the movie. So they bring it up topside, you know, a bunch of, a bunch of people are like, well, what happened? We want to know, you know, his wife or the, the fellow's wife, you know, I was like, well, I need to know. She's all freaking out, like, you can't go in there, you know. They're treating him, but, you know, he's dead, but, you know, they're not trying to break her heart right away. Uh, but, you know, there's rumors going around that Goro killed him, which, you know, that seems that way. They argued beforehand, but the doctor on staff says there's no way that this could have been done. There was some type of sharp cutting tool. And it, it's not like what a miner would have, it'd have to be a sword of some type, and you know, they can't just bring swords into the mine. So we cut over to uh, Shigeru's girlfriend, and, uh, or fiance, or love interest, I'm not sure what their relationship is, or their status of their relationship. But, uh, you know, she is Goro's sister, and which is kind of cool, but, uh, you know, she's worried because they can't find Goro. You know, there's the dead dude, nobody knows what's going on, so they send a team. This team of two miners and a police officer. And they tie each other, you know, together, going to go down and check that flooded area. So it's a miner and then a police officer and another miner. So they go and they start wading through the water, and they start hearing this weird, like, chirping, squeaky noise. And, you know, this one dude's freaking out, like, dude, shut up, and just, let's just go, all right? So they go in there and the fort front miner starts getting pulled into the water. Screaming, something's got it. 
and then the police officer goes up trying to get back, you know, and he's like fired into the water, but he gets pulled in. And the last miner, though, he manages to cut himself free. So, you know, he runs out of the water, he sees something apparently, goes to this this area, like this phone, because I believe they're carted in, used by a cart or, or elevator of some type. So he runs, he's like ringing it up, he's like, oh, answer, you know, we, we need something. But before, you know, he can get a cart or anybody can, can get a hold of anybody, the shadow comes up and, you know, he screams and dies. Everybody's freaking out again. Another dead body, more dead bodies, they don't know what's causing it. Again, people still blame Goro for everything, because... He's the scapegoat because nobody can find him. You know, uh, the first fellow, the guy that Goro was uh, arguing with, his wife goes to Goro's sister's house, like screaming, like this big posse is falling. Her, like you got to stop, you can't do this. You know, it's not her fault. Don't blame her. They get there, get to her, and they're beating on her. They're like, come out here, you know, bitch. I'm gonna roll you up. But uh, they they pull her off, and they're like, you know, just just no, just stop. You can't do this. You can't. You know, she has nothing to do with it. It doesn't matter if it's her brother. It's not her fault. You know, if it was her brother, just just go and they shoo her off. And Shigeru rolls up and goes in and comforts her. They're like sitting around. They're having a nice little talk. And this monster explodes from the bag. He just rolls up to the back. They're like, excuse me. You know, <clears throat> what's going on in this thread? You know, he, he rolls up and sounds like a little squeaky toy. He shuffles in. They're like, holy shit. You know, they get out. They close the little paper door because you know that's a good barrier for a monster. Dude, there's, there's a monster, come on, it's, you know, or something up, get some people over here. People show up, guards show up, you know, guns, they they go in, the monster's not there. They look around a little bit, the monster comes back through, he's like, Bleh! explodes from the trees. They're like, open fire, start beating with clubs, all three of the guards are going there, die. They run off, you know, the monster disappears, then they can't find it, so they're looking all over. And somebody's like, well, the monster went to the mine. And, you know, they, they usually have miners or people stationed in front of the mine. And, you know, they're, they're dead or badly wounded. You know, it's all wrecked up. Everything's messed up. And uh, they, they go, you know, they, they're looking around like, did it go into the mine? Because that's what the report was. And then they could see kind of the top of the mine because the mine is stationed in the side of a mountain. Like up at the top, there, there it is. It like emerges and there's another guard. They're like, you know, the guard like tries to kill him. He gets killed. They bring in like a heavier, like a like a light machine gun of sorts and they just open up on it. That guard is a dime, but they kill the monster too. The, the it's a Megan Newlin, so it's supposedly a dragonfly larvae. You know, they kill him, and so they're like, well, "We got to get in there. We, you know, we got to take a group of people. We got to go in there, and we got to figure out what they are and get rid of them and see if there's more, because you know, there could be." So it's led by Shigeru, so he must he must be fairly familiar with the mine, and you know, a group of armed individuals, and you know, they go in, they follow the water back through and into this open area, and they fight, you know, and and then there's a small opening, and then rocks. And in the rocks is Goro's body. So clearly, obvious at this point, it's ridiculously obvious it wasn't his fault anyway. But it's cool we get closure to it. We know what happens to it. Shigeru's like, you know, holy shit, you know, it's Goro. He's like, oh, and, and like, he, he, he kind of, a monster shows up, like, kind of behind Shigeru. And so he kind of goes into this small hole, 
And then these guards like open and fire, and like a bunch more, you know, they make a new one show up, and they're running around. They open fire on him. He's in this little area, and the rock, the the opening collapses behind him. And the whole mine starts falling in a little bit. Everybody has to retreat. Much of the Megan Ulan die. Uh, so he's gone. They don't know where he is. He's collapsed by a wall of rock. So it's a pretty big wall, apparently. So they start, you know, mining for him. They can't find him. Undisclosed amount of time passes. And they, there's an earthquake. And they call, you know, local... Uh, geologist and like, well, where, where, where's the earthquake coming from? Is this volcano erupting? Because apparently there's a volcano yeah. nearby. He said, no, it was it was near the surface, uh, between the volcano and the mine. It's, it's nothing too severe, but it wasn't it wasn't the volcano. So they go and check it out because it might have something to do with you know the uh, the Megan Ewell and stuff.